You're now tuned in to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine. And as always, we have another great interview for you today. So what do you get when you mix an actress, a philanthropist, and a reality star? Well, you become a person that everybody wants to meet. And I tell you who it is coming up right after this. My guest today returns for the third time to talk about her new TV show airing on the Hallmark Channel called Meet the Pete. Help me welcome back to the Lady Charmaine live show, Mrs. Pete, Mrs. Holly Robinson Pete. Hey, Holly, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Lady Charmaine. I'm glad to be back with you. You know, it's always a pleasure having you on the show, and I love watching Meet the Pete, so we're going to talk about that. The uh, the past two episodes that just aired, because I got a couple of questions as I saw you driving that big old RV to Arizona, so we're going to talk about that uh, as well. But you were on, the last time you were on the show, you were on the show for Murder Mysteries, and I wanted to know, will there be a new season, a new show with Murder Mysteries? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my. There's going to be three murder mystery movies in April. So Morning Show Mysteries is going to air in April, three of the movies. Mm. Um, I believe starting the, the second week, second, third, and fourth week mm-hmm. in April and on Sunday night. So here's the crazy thing, Lady Charmaine. <laughs> Meet the Peets is going to be on opposite Morning Show Mysteries. <laughs> I'm going to be competing against myself. Oh, well, you know, that that's a good problem to have, Holly. I think that's a really good I- problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that in 30, I've gone on 30, 34, 35 years of, of TV, and I have never uh, competed against myself on two different channels. Now, they're both Hallmark Channel channels. Mm-hmm. One mm-hmm. is Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, and one is Hallmark Channel, but still, that should be pretty interesting, <laughs> me versus me. <laughs> well, you know, in this day and age, everybody wish they were working, and thank God you got it. Yeah. Two channels, and you're competing against yourself, and that's a problem I think many people in Hollywood really do wish they had. <laughs> yes, it's, I'm definitely, it's definitely a blessing. I'm not complaining. Now, your Holly Rod Foundation, Holly, is doing some amazing things, and your son Rodney is a true testament to the work that you have been doing, and I was so happy to see that he became a Los Angeles Dodger. How does that make you feel as a parent, knowing that your son is a one of the, one of the children who had autism that was able to defy what people people thought the limitations of a child with autism would have? Oh, it, it's it's such a blessing. I, I mean, when I think about it, some, there are times when Rodney and I will look at each other and just like, <laughs> is this really happening? Like when we see him going to work mm-hmm. or we see him doing things that we were told he would never do, we're like, how, it's just so, it's such a blessing. It's just, we just get on our knees and we just, we just pray, you know, just because we're just so, happy to see him thriving and doing things. Now, he still has his issues and things that he has to deal with, but just watching him defy the odds, it's so beautiful to see. And, you know, ironically, that's really one of the reasons why we wanted to do Meet the Peace, because mm-hmm. we wanted to show RJ's story, get people help and hope, and not feel like, you know, they, they are living this hopeless diagnosis. So mm-hmm. um, it's very inspirational to see RJ uh, and what he's doing. He's, he's kind of a magical kid. Um, and I love the fact that people are able to know what RJ is doing and, and be inspired by him. Absolutely, because I know that I am, and he's handsome, too. I can't wait to see what his and girlfriend is. he's fine, right? Girl, yeah, he is, girl. Fine, yeah, he, he is. is fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is, child. <laughs> I must say. <laughs> And, um, so I want to talk to you about the brand new season of the show because um, he's going to be receiving an award. Speaking of Rodney, and you, it just brought you to tears. What was that about for you, that moment that we saw on television? Oh, uh, well, that's me. And I just, you know, I'm a crybaby. I'm a crybaby. It don't take much. But when <laughs> Dr. Wild, the juxtaposition of that moment, watching, and we're talking about the, the first episode of the season, mm-hmm. where um, sitting with Dr. Wiley, and she she says she's going to give RJ this award. And I guess what really got me was a combination of things. So RJ started going to Dr. Wiley when he was five. He had no language. And she literally gave him the gift of voice. She worked with him and worked with him, and she's an amazing speech therapist. So there she was, knowing him since he's five. And here we are 15 years later, okay, and she's giving him an award 
for, you know, getting out there and advocating and working and, and it was just too much. And then the part that well, RJ didn't even know that she was talking about him. Right. She was like, uh, who, who do you think I should give this award right. to? He's, go- he's good looking. He works for the Dodgers. I was <laughs> like, uh. So that's who he is, right? He's just very humble and he's unassuming. He doesn't lie. He doesn't know, doesn't know how to lie. And he's just a beautiful kid. So uh, it was a moment for me to just be proud of him. Um, and then you'll see later on when he actually gets the award, you think I was crying then. Mm. I'm really sobbing. I'm doing the <laughs> ugly, hard, ugly cry later on. When he when he gets the award and Roman presents it to him, mm. his little brother, oh, forget it. So yeah. and these are the moments, you know, we... We, these are the real moments in our lives, and it's, it's, I'm glad to be able to share these. Well, I want to make sure that everybody definitely tune into the show on Sunday nights. And now, Holly, I have this question for you, because you grew up in Hollywood. And as a woman who's been in Hollywood for many, many years, you've been on several television shows. Do you feel the pressure to compete with the young and upcoming actresses? And I mean, in the sense of trying to retain your youthfulness and appealing and still to Hollywood and still be competitive in Hollywood? As you grow older, well, the answer the answer is yes. I mean, you have Hollywood is competitive. You have to be competitive. But like, I'm a woman of a certain age now, mm-hmm. and I've been out there for a while, so I'm not trying to compete with any twenty, thirty, <laughs> even the forty year olds. But the good news is, is that I feel so blessed to be able to be working at my age and be out there and still working gamefully and um, and working and shows that I'm proud to do. So that's 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 something that I feel really excited about to be able to say that you know you know as a as a woman in this business you still got to go you know maintain yourself you still got you got to work got to eat right you got you have to keep it right because you you're going to be on camera and so there's a lot of pressure there i mean age is a real thing and you start to move slower and you don't spring back like you used to (laughs) from certain situations um but the good news is is that i feel like i'm working for a very forgiving company they love women our age and they're very um supportive and so hallmark channel has been really awesome at allowing me to tell my story not just as a mom on a on a on a not on a docuseries but also um you know as a scripted genre to the morning show mystery shows are really fun to work mm-hmm. on so i've just been really just excited in this moment i'm just living living my best life right now and you look good doing it. That's one thing I could say, girl. If I can get that body, I'm still trying to look like you, Holly. See, you are so <laughs> sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm listen. I'm just trying to be like my mama because Miss Miss Dolores at eighty eighty two is doing it, doing the thing. So I'm just trying to be like her. I, I did not know your mother was eighty two. I mean, that woman living in Palm Springs. She always got friend dates. I mean, that lady on the golf course. I want to be like you. Yeah, I want to be like her. She's I doing be- the most. Isn't she? <laughs> She is doing the absolute most, Absolutely. and I love it. I love that she she looks at her life like, oh, let's see, what am I going to do in my 80s? You know, everything is the next chapter for her. So she's a real inspiration, and uh, she's where I get it. Absolutely. Well, Holly, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. And I want to remind the audience to make sure that you guys tune in to Meet the Peets on Sunday nights, 9, 8 central on the Hallmark Channel. Again, Holly, thank you so much, and I look forward to having you back. Thanks, Lady Charmaine, and we'll see you soon. Absolutely. Bye-bye. And again, be sure to tune in to Meet the Peets on the Hallmark Channel, Sundays at 9, 8 Central. And that was Miss Holly Robinson. Pete, she is so special to the show. And thank you, Holly, for always coming on the show and supporting the Lady Charmaine Live Show. And be sure to follow us on social media, on Instagram at I am Lady Charmaine, Facebook Lady Charmaine Live. And don't forget to tune in to Hot Topics with Lady Charmaine every Thursday night, 7 p.m. on Facebook Live. And you can always go back and listen to the shows. You can also listen to us on Spotify, iTunes, tune in, and also on Alexa. And just say, Alexa, let's listen to the Lady Charmaine live show. And boom, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.